What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks and fixes for your Samsung Galaxy phone. This should basically work on almost any Samsung Galaxy phone that you have. And this is going to be, again, tips, tricks, and fixes for things like, I don't know, an app isn't working correctly. Maybe your camera isn't working correctly. And it's things that you should try first before saying, hey, this thing's broken. So let's get to these tips, tricks, and fixes. The first one is the most logical and the one you should be thinking about very firstly, is that word, firstly? First time would be to restart your phone. Power it off, re restart it, whichever one you wanna choose. I would just do restart. And you can restart two ways. So if, you, if you've changed the button already, you can press and hold the power button and you can choose restart or power off again. I would just do restart, that way your phone just re reboots basically. If you don't have your phone set up that way, that way another way you can uh, shut, restart your phone is swipe down from the top and you're gonna see a power button at the top. If you tap that power button, you can hit restart. That will allow you to restart your phone. That probably honestly will fix a bunch of things about your phone so that you can get up to working with whatever apps having an issue or you know something's just not working correctly on your phone. Try that first. The next thing you should try is updating the apps. So if you have Samsung apps, they might not be updating through the Google Play Store, they might be updating through the Galaxy Store. So swipe up so you see all of your apps and look for one that says Galaxy Store. Once you find Galaxy Store, tap on it, let it load up, and what's gonna happen is in the top left, hit the menu button, which is the three lines, and then from there you're gonna tap on updates. Let it search for any updates. This is gonna be great for, again, Samsung specific apps, sometimes non-Samsung specific apps, but generally, you know, those weird like Samsung Notes and, you know, apps like that, those will be in here. And if you have updates, you can update them and that will check within there. Otherwise, go into the Google Play Store, Tap the three lines in the top left, go into my apps and games, and see if you have any updates. If you do, hit update all apps, let the apps update. Once they're done, go back into the app that you were having an issue with and try it from there. Speaking of updates, it might be a bigger issue than you know just updating the app. It might be an, a problem with the compatibility of your phone and that app or, or that feature on your phone. So what you'd wanna do is why not check for firmware updates for your phone. So swipe down from the top, go into the gear by clicking, clicking that. So bring it to settings, go all the way down, go into software update, download and install, see if you have any updates for your phone. And again, this would be like a firmware update and it could potentially fix whatever problems you have. For instance, I kept getting Instagram updates on my Galaxy Z Fold 2, but it still wouldn't work correctly with my Galaxy Z Fold 2. Once I got a firmware update, specifically the One UI 3.0 update, it fixed all my uh, Instagram, most of them, <laughs> most of my Instagram uh, app updates and I was good at that point. Next up would be to force stop the app if you're having an issue with an app. So find the app that you're having an issue before you click into the app. You know, it can be anywhere. You can look through it through uh, all your apps, through your app drawer or on your home screen. Uh, but basically just press and hold on the app. So we'll say that it's, that it's uh, Chrome, press and hold on it. And then next what you wanna do is hit the little I in the top right and that's gonna bring you into the app info screen. And at the bottom here, you're gonna see force stop. So tap on force stop, hit okay. And that basically closes the app completely so that you don't have to, you know, just swipe up from there. Cause sometimes even when you're looking at all your apps, you know, sometimes even just swiping it up doesn't fully close it. So for stopping it definitely will close it. Once you're done with that, open the app up again and see if it fixes your issue. If it did, you're done. Otherwise, let's keep on troubleshooting. Next up, maybe you wanna reset the app or reset the settings for the app to see if that fixes it. So I know one thing that sometimes will fix issues with your phone is again, resetting settings. So what's gonna, let's go into the camera app for instance. Maybe you're having an issue with a specific feature within the camera, it's not working or something isn't there that used to be there. So let's reset the camera. I won't do this, but <laughs> I'll walk you through how to do it. So once you're in there, cause it ends up resetting all your settings and setting it back to uh, factory settings. 
You're gonna hit the gear in the top left so that it brings you into settings. Work your way all the way down and you're gonna see reset settings. Tap on that and then hit reset at the bottom. And again, that will reset your camera settings. And you can do that for any app. Go into the app, reset the settings. Some apps don't have a reset settings, but if they don't, you know, you can at least search to see if it does. The next one is kind of like resetting the settings back to factory settings. It's called clear data. And when you clear the data, it basically wipes out all the information on that app. So be careful, you know, especially if you're playing a game and it's not saved to the cloud or something, or you don't have a backup of it. Just be careful. Um, so this is what you're gonna do. So we're gonna find the app that we want, and we're gonna do that press and hold thing on the app before we go into the app. So you can do it from your home screen or from your app screen. So let's just say I wanna do it with the, uh, uh, you know, the Roku app. So I'm gonna press and hold on the Roku app. I'm gonna hit the I again in the top right. And when I'm in here, all I'm gonna do is go to data, storage actually, so go to storage next. And then in here at the bottom, you see clear cache and clear data. You can clear both if you want, see if that fixes it. Clearing data usually will do the trick. Uh, but again, when you clear the data, it basically factory resets it up and it'll delete any data within the app. So again, if you're playing a game or there's something within there, be, be safe about it. If it's just your text messaging app, your text messages will stay on your phone. So you could clear out the data within that app. It kind of like just resets the settings for that, but certain apps will completely delete the data from it. Just be careful what you're doing. Lastly would be to delete and then reinstall the app. So the way you can do that, find the app that you want to uninstall. Maybe I want to uninstall uh, uh, Instagram. So I'll press and hold on that. And then I will go into the eye again. And then you will see uninstall at the bottom in the middle, allowing you to uninstall the app. And then from there, just go back into the Google Play Store, type in Instagram or whatever app you uninstalled and then hit un, then hit install and then you should be good to go. But those are my tips and tricks. If you're having an issue with an app or a feature in your phone, just go in there and try to reset the settings or, you know, just look for updates or clear the data. You know, I give you a bunch of tips and tricks. Hopefully that will fix for you. If you have ones that I didn't include, leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you down the road. Peace.